In most situations, when you have a general site with medium size and terrain, you will use a RTK method over LoRa when you have an emlet base and rover receiver like what we have here today. So the way we'll configure them is over LoRa, which means you do not need an internet connection. All right, as you can see, we have a RS2 rover and an RS2 base, which is already powered on. Let's dive into the Reach 3 app and look at the settings on how to configure your receivers over a LoRa connection. There is two methods on how to connect to your application with your receivers. The one method is over Wi-Fi. The next method is over BLE, which is Bluetooth low energy method. So for this case, let's look at the Wi-Fi setup. The first thing we'll do is make sure that our base is in fact connected over Wi-Fi. And then we'll dive into the Reach View 3 app. I'll click on settings. I'll scroll down to my correction output and I'll just select my LoRa as you'll see there's a small pencil on the side and you just make sure that your base and rover will be on the same frequency so as you can see you can actually set your your frequencies over here but let's keep it on 868.0 and then our power output will be set to 20 dBm and we'll use a 9.11 kilobytes per second air data rate. After this, I'll save this. All right, and I'll make sure that it is ticked on the side. I'll then go back to the settings tab. I'll go to my base mode. And over here, I can see that my base is set up on an average shingle of two minutes. We're going to leave it just as it is, as it already accumulated the two minutes here coordinate since the time that we have actually put on the receiver. Let's look at our typical RTCM3 messages. Also, some of the information that we can see is that our base is currently receiving about 37, 36 satellites. Um, and our RTCM3 messages has just popped up. So we can see that our ARP station coordinates is set to 0.1 Hz, which is perfect. Our GPS to 1 Hz, our GLONASS to 0.5, our Galileo to 0.5, our BDO to 0.5, and then uh, the GLONASS, GLONASS code phase bias is set to 0.1 Hz, which we still just going to keep as it is. All right. So once we have set that up, we'll then go over to our rover. So to go over to the rover, we will need to go back to your Wi-Fi, wait for the, the network options to pick up, select your rover. If you have not typed in the password, it's Mnet Reach all in small letters. And then I'll go into my Reach app again, press the refresh button, and then I'll see my new available device. I'll connect to it, go to my settings tab, scroll down in this case your base is outputting a correction you want your rover receiver to receive the correction so you'll go to the correction input tab all right once you're in the correction input tab there's a LoRa option i'll first click on the pencil on the side and make sure that my frequency is in fact the same as what i've set it up on my base and i'll scroll down to make sure that my air data rate is also exactly the same i can see that it is and i'll click on save So once it's saved, you'll see automatically if your base has launched its coordinates that it will say it is receiving corrections. All right, so once it's receiving corrections, it means that my status will change from single to float to fix in a very short time. There we go. We have a fixed position. Now let's go do some basic measurements and see what we can do for the day.